How to formulate with aminosensyl HC using a two-pot method. Today, we will be making natural daily conditioner. First, we start by adding the water and preservation system. We are using Spectrostat G2 Natural MB. Next, we will transfer our beaker to a water bath and begin mixing. While mixing, we add Jaguar S Guar Gum to give the final product some slip. Allow this to hydrate while heating to 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. For the oil phase, we add our fatty alcohols, cetyl alcohol, and sterol alcohol to thicken the formula. Then we add our main emulsifier and conditioning agent, aminosensyl HC, and finally our emollient, Lexfeel Wow A, to add slip and anti-frizz properties to the formula. You can heat aminosensyl HC in a water bath or on a traditional hot plate. Here we will be heating to 75 to 80 degrees Celsius with a temperature controlled hot plate and a temperature probe in the beaker. If you choose to pre-melt aminosensyl HC, please do not leave it exposed to high heat for long periods of time, as this can cause yellowing of the final product. It is important to continuously mix the phase containing aminosensyl HC so the calcium gluconate does not settle or precipitate. Once both phases have reached 75 to 80 degrees C, remove them from heating and mixing. While homogenizing for 3 minutes at 4,500 RPM, add your oil phase into the water phase. If homogenization is not possible with your scale-up equipment, high shear mixing can be used. We recommend homogenization for aminosensyl HC emulsions to form small, uniformly dispersed oil droplets, which improve the overall stability and viscosity. Transfer the emulsion to slow, medium anchor mixing. Use only low shear mixing on cooldown to ensure a stable, smooth emulsion without reducing overall viscosity. A maximum of 150 RPM is used for batches smaller than 1 kg. Use lower shear than a typical non-ionic emulsion, but similar to how Saptima, BTAC, and CTAC are treated. At 50 to 55 degrees C, add your temperature sensitive ingredients such as fragrance and actives. Here, we are adding fragrance. Take care to limit the amount of ingredients added during cooldown as this may result in a lower overall viscosity and affect high temperature stability. Typically, you will see a phase transition as the formula cools. This is the lamellar gel network forming in real time. For this formula, we will stop mixing at 45 degrees Celsius and allow to cool to room temperature undisturbed. This will maximize the viscosity. If mixing below 40 degrees Celsius, a low shear rate and mixing speed is recommended. A pH of less than 5 is required for optimal performance with aminosensyl HC. Aminosensyl HC is a cationic conditioning system that creates a lamellar gel network, so additional polymer thickeners are not necessary. Emollient polarity can affect viscosity and texture, but not stability, allowing for a unique, tailored emulsion. Find out more about ingredient compatibility in our formulation guide.